it's time to present uh, the Women of Vision Awards. And now it's time to present our first awardee. But while we do so, I'm going to also be requesting Mr. Pinto to please stay with us for the awards presentation. And with that, let's now present our recipients of the Women of Vision Awards 2022, welcoming them in an alphabetical order. So let's take a look at the very first awardee. Absolutely amazing indeed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ananya Gandotra provides strategic design direction and helps deliver projects with clear alignment of sustainability and business goals. She's also worked with global consultants like Foster and partners Zaha Hadid, Lera, Sasaki, VAPG, Bureau Hapold, BPI, Belt Collins, and Cooper Hill. So if I may request uh, uh, Mr. Pinto to please do the honors. Sure, my pleasure. Congratulations. Dr. Gandotra, really impressive. Can you please do share some words for the young woman out there on thinking differently in this male dominant world of construction? Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Pinto and Kavya. So at the behest, I would like to thank you for felicitating me for the Women of Vision Award. And I'm happy that the Realty uh, Plus could bring out the vision uh, in, in the Women's Award. Uh, it's critical for the women uh, to have a vision. And in order to make this vision a reality, it is extremely important for women to self-help themselves. I, you know, in my opinion, uh, in order to improve the diversity and inclusion in, in their workplaces. And the three in critical components uh, to my mind is um, they should have motivation and uh, that would drive them through the tough times and commitment to say to their team, I'm in and determination to say, we'll do it to the boss. So with these three ingredients, one of the foremost one, which I feel is uh, the natural caregiving that the women have and thereby empathy can be one of the topmost strengths for women to achieve their success. And therefore, in, uh, in this International Women's Day 2022, I would like the women to pledge that they would have self-pride, they would have pride in their work, and they would have belief in themselves. And uh, last but not the least, be thankful for people who have believed them throughout their journey. So thank you. Thank you for Realty Plus, um, for honoring me with this award. I'm really feeling privileged. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Pinto. Very well said, ma'am. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations indeed, ma'am. And uh, I'm going to also request you to please stay with us backstage because you will be joining all the awardees this evening for a beautiful Kodak moment. I also believe that all our attendees who are joining in will truly resonate with the ingredients uh, or that you've shared. Uh, it's a perfect recipe for success. So congratulations on that note. And with that, let's move on quickly to also find out the next awardee for the evening. Let's take a look at the video.
Our next award is awarded to a young woman who has taken the road less traveled. A young change maker, she is trying hard to build a world where ecology and economy work hand in hand. She leads a team of waterpreneurs who have prevented over 10 million liters of water from being wasted. And the award goes to Garvita Gulhati, Water Girl of India, Founder and CEO, Waterpreneur, Why Waste? India's largest youth-led movement for water conservation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Garvita Gulhati, a young change maker. She's trying to build a world where ecology and economy work in tandem. She leads the youth organization and team of waterpreneurs that have prevented over 10 million liters of water from being wasted and have impacted over 6 million lives. As they say it, and I'd like to also request Mr. Pinto to please do the honors. Well, impressive once again, uh, Ms. Gulhati. This is really good. This is really special. And may I request you to say a few words, especially for young aspiring women entrepreneurs? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for this incredible honor. It really means a lot. Um, uh, thank you for recognizing the work of a young change maker. I think uh, one of the largest struggles that youth face is um, not being taken seriously and to be recognized um, at you know um, such a platform is a testimony. So kudos to you all for being so kind and so uh, willing to um, you know not just recognize me but the work of young change makers um, at large. I'm really, really grateful um, to everyone who was involved in um, making this happen. Uh, and to all of the young people who want to make a difference out there, all I'd like to say is that um, every idea matters, every, um, no matter how small or large it may be, um, and your voice matters. Um, in a world of constant change, we are now in the constant need of change makers, and no matter what you choose to do in life, no matter um, who you choose to be, you can still impact and you can still make a difference. So find that small thing that you want to change and start working towards it because the world needs you. Once again, thank you all so much. Um, I'm truly, truly grateful um, for this incredible um, recognition. Congratulations, Garvita. Way to go. Congratulations, Garvita. I think that's absolutely inspiring what you're doing. One drop at a time, if I may put it that way, but it's absolutely inspiring. Kudos to you. And I'm going to request you to please stay with us backstage. As I'd mentioned, we're going to have a Kodak moment towards the end of the program with all the awardees. Ladies and gentlemen, what, what an inspiring story indeed. And it's amazing, as uh, Garvita says, if we are in need for constant change, then we are definitely in need for constant change makers. On that note, it's also time to move forward and find out our next awardee. So let's take a look at the AV. Our next award is presented to a woman who leads one of the oldest fire protection companies in Eastern India. She has been an active member of the Society of Fire Protection Engineers, USA, and continues to remain a member of the FSAI Core Committee of Kolkata Chapter from its inception. And the award goes to Koeli Dat, a woman with a vision, MD, Techniko India, National Chairperson, Surakshit Nari Program, FSAI, Fire Safety. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Koeli Dutt leads one of the oldest fire protection companies in Eastern India, and she's been an active member of the Society of Fire Protection Engineers USA. She continues to remain a member of the FSAI Core Committee of the Kolkata chapter from its inception and is also an active member of the FSAI. I'd like to request Mr. O'Neill Pinto to please do the honors, sir. Well done, Ms. Dutt, and uh, 
if, if you may please share some inspiring moments from your own journey of facing these challenges and succeeding against all odds. We'd love to hear that. Thank you, Mr. Pinto and Kavya. Um, I'm truly honored to be here today. And um, thank you very much to the organizers, uh, Lubrizol and uh, Reality Plus uh, for uh, dedicating this day and uh, like actually uh, recognizing all the women out there who are indeed making a difference. I've been in this industry for over two decades now. When I joined, I think uh, we could count the number of women of, you know, of one hand maybe in this industry. Construction has seen a sea change. And uh, now I'm very happy to note that wherever I go, every company I come across has at least a few, if not several women to boast of. And it is a great pleasure to see that kind of, uh, you know, growth with this coming forward of women. Uh, when I uh, initially started working, I think every conversation with a client would begin by a question, are you from a technical background? So that has changed. Now people don't bat an eyelid. I mean, you walk in, you don't, the, it is not assumed that you come only in one of those stereotypical roles of, uh, you know, reception or HR or something, but you are actually there to contribute and make a difference to the core areas of the industry. And uh, it is very, um, you know, uh, like I actually do not believe in one day to celebrate women, but I feel uh, this inequality that has been coming over the ages uh, until we actually wipe that out, this recognition of one day where we actually meaningfully talk about the women and their achievements, I think it does make a difference into that. And you are contributing wonderfully well to recognize us, our efforts, and possibly inspire the next generation of women. Thank you so much. Very inspiring, Ms. Nutt, really. Thank you, and congratulations once again. Congratulations, uh, Ms. Dutt, and uh, absolutely, uh, you know, that's what I think uh, people are talking about, that it's time to break that bias, break that stereotype that women can only fit into a particular type of roles and it's people and women for that matter, like Koili, who make us all believe that women can do it all, be it all, be whoever they wish to be. On that beautiful note, on that feisty note, let's actually move forward to also announcing our next award winner. And let's take a look at the AV. Ladies and gentlemen, Manjula Tavarkare is an experienced principal consultant with a demonstrated history of working in the MEP consultancy firm and skilled in plumbing and firefighting design. She graduated from Arden School of Engineering and I am Bengaluru and set up a micro enterprise with a committed team of engineers. That truly, truly calls for an applause and I'd like to request Mr. Pinto to please do the honors. Oh, this is really good and interesting. Uh, Ms. Tavarkare, what inspired you to create an organization and how did you go about building this? Yeah, good evening all. And it's been a privilege that I'm being part of this uh, wonderful session with all my colleagues, women colleagues who have uh, actively like uh, achieved so many things in their own faith. So coming to your point, uh, the challenges were quite tough because I, uh, I basically come from a very rural background and coming to a city like Bangalore and then starting up my career in the civil engineering field. At that time, about 25 years, it was very, very tough. 
so i had my own challenges every day was to be i mean the challenges used to be like on a day to day basis so it's like over the period of time and with the experience and with the uh, situations that we have faced and uh, i think the turning point was uh, the women entrepreneurial program that i did at iim which gave me the confidence that yes i can start a micro enterprise of my own and by i mean i can lead and be inspiration to many of my fellow women engineers too so i think that was the turning point for me excellent this is so inspirational uh, ma'am and congratulations once again Thank you. Congratulations, uh, ma'am, and absolutely inspiring indeed. It's so wonderful to hear such endearing stories as well. And uh, while we request you to also remain with us backstage, so that all of all the awardees can join together for a Kodak moment towards the end of the program. But mighty congratulations, ma'am. All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, on that very very beautiful note, let's also move forward to finding out our next award winner, and let's take a look at the AV. We now move on to our next awardee, who is a veteran woman architect and is known for the use of low energy materials and technologies. She has designed and constructed numerous reputed projects in India and abroad. And the award goes to architect Neelam Manjunath, principal architect Manasaram Architects. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she's an architect, planner, activist, and theoretician. Having started her private practice in 1991, she has designed and constructed numerous reputed projects in India and abroad. Her buildings are an epitome of simple and direct solutions to problems concerning the general function of the building, accompanying sympathy towards the immediate environment. Uh, to do the honors, may I please request uh, Mr. Pinto to please go ahead and share your question, sir. Thanks a lot, Ms. Majuna, and really appreciate what you do. Could you please share with us your views on women power and the value additions they can bring to the industry? We'd be happy to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, am I audible? Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. to mr pinto and thank you rubisol and the reality press for giving this honor i am uh, extremely humbled and uh, it's very nice to be um, actually reality sector is something i which i have been generally trying to little move away from but you know like um, uh, as women uh, it's supposed to be really tough little but as an architect yes i had to take this on and um, uh, i have been running a practice since 1991 actually and uh, i also took the tough decision not decision actually it was something which came very uh, easy for me that i wanted to do simple simple buildings what we call as uh, simple buildings with the five elements when you design they actually are supposed to be taking care of not just the physical needs in terms of space it's also it's supposed to take care of your psychological needs and the spiritual needs and we talk about simplicity it doesn't mean that it has to be dressed down to something like that uh, simplicity actually uh, means uh, sustainability because somebody who is simple is also sustainable by default and is also leads to spirituality which we i think after covid we all know that we need these kind of spaces so there was mud and bamboo and these kind of materials which i took on and i thought that these are the best materials to give a good you know ambience and it has been very tough you know starting from almost like a 10 lakh square feet when i actually started my practice it came down to some 1000 square feet and uh, people they thought that i was only doing bamboo pergolas and uh, balconies and i cannot do bigger buildings anymore but slowly and uh, you know people it has come that uh, calling me a bamboo architect or a bamboo lady or some other lady now slowly it has come back to where again uh, uh, this thing is got uh, recognized i mean my 
I would rather say that my uh, awards, which I take it, is more like I have a responsibility towards the society, uh, much more than what I had before. And that's what I would take uh, this award, which is given to me, women, women of Vision. I would like to live up to this expectation further from where I am today in future. And thank you so much. Well deserved, ma'am, and congratulations once again. Congratulations, ma'am. And I think that beautiful keyword for me is the word responsibility that you have associated with every numerous win that you've uh, achieved so far. But thank you so much, ma'am, and congratulations to you once again. I'm going to request you to please join our awardees backstage as well so that we'll have a beautiful uh, group photograph towards the end of the program. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it's also time to march ahead and announce the next award winner. Let's take a look at the AV. Ladies and gentlemen, Rinki Mahato participated at the India Skills Regional Competition North held by Water Management and Plumbing Skill Council and amongst eight other competitors, all male, against all odds, she stood first and gained a spot to compete at the national level skill competition, India Skills 2021. She became the first female to ever reach the regional level competition for plumbing and heating competitions and she proved her metal and skills by winning the regionals. If women can fly airplanes, why can't they work in plumbing? That's what she says. Well, on that note, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Pinto. Over to you, sir. So very impressive, Rinky. This is fantastic. Uh, Rinky, on that note, uh, what would be your message to young girls who would like to join the plumbing industry? Aunt Kiki, do you have your thoughts on that? I uh, firstly thank you. It's an honor for me to receive this award. Thank you, Librizol and uh, Reality Plus for giving me this award. Uh, and I want to thank the uh, WMPSC and NSDC Skill Ministry for giving me such an opportunity and training for this skill. Uh, plumbing sector has been predominantly male dominated. Hardly any women are there in this sector. But from my experience, I can say that uh, this sector is very supportive. Like only we need to come forward and take the opportunities uh, to come in this sector and choose this sector as a career. And I want to convey a message to a young girl that uh, plumbing work is not less than an engineering work. I'm a civil engineer also, so I know it's uh, not less than an engineering work also. So we must come forward, take these opportunities, uh, and we must break the mold and create a new way of thinking uh, about women in this trade uh, and start this cycle. And I'm happy to say that I'm a part of WMPSC uh, core competition team as an ambassador. And because of my uh, good performance in India skill, now I'm preparing for the selection process of World Skill 2022 for Shanghai, along with the two competitors. After the selection process, one of the competitors will go and represent our country. And now my goal is to uh, represent my country as well as women in Shanghai 2022. And once again, thank you so much. Wow, Rinki, these are, these are super achievements and so, so very impressed with what you do. So best wishes to you and all you do. Go stronger, go higher, keep our country high, keep our country swag high. Congratulations once again, Rinki. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Rinki. In fact, uh, all the best because I uh, can't wait to see you uh, in India shine. And I love what you shared about the fact that plumbing is no less than engineering. In fact, it's absolutely as skilled as engineering. So kudos to you and thank you for inspiring us all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I must admit, I just can't stop smiling wide. It's because of such amazing achievers. I mean, just to be in the August presence of such amazing work that they do, such ideas that come out, I think it just makes us want to level up. That's the kind of achieve, achievers that we're talking about. On that note, let's now move forward to our final award winner for the evening. Let's take a look at the AD. Huge congratulations indeed. A globally experienced fashion apparel retail buying and merchandising professional, Rupali has catered to brands such as Armani, Miss 60, Guess, Marlboro Clothing, Diesel, and Rupali co-founded DSGN Inc. and uh, heads all the business development and operations of Wulu, a revolutionary app that increases women's access to safe public toilets. The app has been recognized and supported by International Association of Plumbing and Mechanical Officials, India. Absolutely amazing indeed. I'm going to request Mr. Pinto to please do the honors. Congratulations, Ms. Kelshikar. Very Thank good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are loudly aware about your mission to provide hygiene, dignity to women in India. If you could share some thoughts on that. So I, um, with more than 20 years of uh, experience in corporate life, I realized that we all women, we have always suffered and, you know, um, with poor hygiene access when we, have, when we step out of our home. And uh, this has always been an, uh, you know, a concern for me because I feel that so many Women were so talented, and you know they have to drop out of corporate, maybe in schools, uh, colleges also. And uh, so uh, after that, and you know, because I wanted next generation, like young Tarika and Rinki, to excel in their fields, okay, and not nothing should restrict them because of poor hygiene. So we uh, now, and with my daughter, who is also becoming an architect. I know that, you know, I, I wanted to make this change for this generation and coming forward, uh, for, you know, on future generations. So that's how we started off with Wulu, which is a fintech. Uh, so it has, we use a lot of technology to ensure women's hygiene dignity. And, uh, and they write currently in Mumbai with more than 1,000 plus Wulu facilities. And uh, influence, I mean, we have almost uh, 23,000 women for using the facilities in our uh, kind of, you know, um, and that there are more, uh, more things which we are doing. And of, of course, we, would, we are looking forward to Japan India and also globally. So I, I mean, I will uh, use this platform to appeal every professional here to kind of, you know, because they are also inspiring uh, in their own domain, but I would like them to also uh, pledge to be uh, in a joint our mission at Hulu and to so that we can work together and take it ahead faster, uh, not just in India but also overseas. So, thank you, the Brazil and uh, Mr. Dean, Pinto, Kavya, and also I would say, uh, sorry, bad <laughs> but. The entire team of uh, year two plus, and thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Really appreciate what you do. Congratulations once again.
Thank you very much, Rupali, and congratulations on what you're doing because so many women might just sit up and think that, you know, this needs to be tackled, this hygiene issue needs to be tackled. We might only sit and think, but you're actually out there doing it. So I think that really is an achievement in itself. Thank you so much for that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, while we did announce all our amazing, amazing award winners uh, right over here, let me actually inform you all that it's time for all our award recipients to please come on the main screen uh, to have a group photograph with Mr. O'Neill Pinto. And if I may also request uh, Ms. Sapna Shivastava to please join uh, us all here on the main screen. We're going to take a nice group picture and keep the memories alive of this fantastic felicitation ceremony of our women achievers. So I'm going to request all the women achievers to come back again on the main screen. Keep your videos on. You can keep yourself muted, on mute, sorry. That wouldn't be a problem, but keep your videos on and we're going to capture that. I'm going to request Sapna. Yes, Sapna is also here with us. Is everybody in? Looks like everyone's in. Perfect. So looks like we're all set for a Kodak moment. Now, we are joining in a virtual avatar, which means we're going to have a beautiful screenshot. That's a plan as of now. So let's all smile. Let's all smile in the countdown of three, two, one. All right, Sapna, I believe we managed to get that screenshot. We managed to get that captured. All the lovely award winners, I'm as guessing. We, as we speak, we are back and team is taking the screenshots of the lovely uh, winners out there. It's such a pleasure and honor to be hosting these, uh, you know, the veterans of the industry from Ms. Neela Manjunath and Ananya Gandotra to the young guns, um, you know, Rinki and um, uh, Darvita. It, it's, it's such a pleasant to see, you know, where women are reaching, you know, the veterans have opened the uh, the ways for the young uh, girls and the young girls are taking it forward into a completely new direction. So fantastic to see all, all our women achievers today here. Lovely, lovely indeed. Once again, mighty, mighty congratulations. Let's all uh, actually say a big round of cheers to these amazing achievers who are showing the way, knowing the way and going the way for all of us. And I hope uh, all of you are also going ahead and tagging us all in those lovely winning shots. Our social media handles being at the rate RP Realty Plus on Facebook and Twitter, RP underscore Realty on Instagram. Thank you once again, dear winners, for joining us this evening. And thank you for as you continue to inspire us all each and every day. Thank you, everyone, and all the best to everyone. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, while uh, let, let me tell you that I'm actually having goosebumps over here, just hearing all the different stories, the kind of contributions. And it's, it's amazing to hear such stories coming out, such riveting stories coming out. So while I thank our winners for being part of the wonderful evening, while we come to the fantastic closing of the Lubrizol CPVC Presents Women of Vision Summit and Awards organized by Realty Plus Masterclass in association with FlowGuard Plus, and Blaze Master. Once again, congratulations to all the winners who make India proud with their dedication and their performance. But as they say, it's not over until it's over. Because I now invite Mr. Manish Jain, uh, the segment manager, Plumbing and Fire South Asia, Lubrizol Advanced Materials, to please also join us here to present the vote of thanks. In fact, he has been serving the building industry for over 28 years and has also introduced new technologies starting from construction chemicals to CPVC piping. So if I may please uh, request uh, Mr. Manish to present the vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Kavya. And good evening, everyone. It has been such an honor to be a part of this wonderful event. On behalf of Lubrizol, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed and eminent speakers of both the panels on sustainability and rethinking building design. Your insights on the subject have really enlightened us and given us great thought for action. And I believe that each one of us who would start moving in the right direction for creating a safer and a sustainable planet. Thank you to the panelists. I also extend my gratitude to the audience who have taken out time and their gracious presence has motivated us and made our event successful. Moving ahead, congratulations to the winners of the Women of Vision 2020. And, uh, you know, it's really motivating to see such achievements. And I think so you all act as great motivators for the other women to uh, move forward. Last 
not the least the entire team of reality plus and lubrizol who have collaborated conceptualized and executed this program to perfection to conclude we at lubrizol are committed to innovation sustainability and making our customers more successful so if you have issues on product front we are there we are there to hear you we would address your issues and help you in becoming more successful frankly finally i would like to thank all of you present here for making the time and making this event successful thank you all and a good day thank you kavya over to you thank you very much uh, manish for sharing uh, your words as well and like you rightly said it's indeed an evening of celebrations of such amazing achievements and on that note let me also quickly invite on the main screen uh, sapna shrivastava to also present a thank you note on behalf of realty plus thanks mr jain for uh, joining us and you know uh, expressing your uh, appreciation for the entire event that uh, that has happened that concluded today thanks mr onil pinto for joining us earlier presenting the awards on behalf of lupizol and realty plus and mr binay agarwal for so motivatingly opening this entire uh, you know event of today which is uh, the lubrizol presents women of vision awards 2022 um, so i sincere gratitude to all the award recipients as well for being here with us and sharing their time i also thank all our expert speakers of the day earlier uh, today for those very uh, you know knowledge uh, enhancing sessions that um, we had and for making this edition of women of vision summit 2022 so informative interesting and uh, not to mention thought provoking king a big thanks to the awesome audience as well for being here with us today and sharing their queries we were not able to take a lot of questions mm -hmm. because of the paucity of time but definitely we are going to take them offline with our speakers let me also thank the lubrizol corporation for presenting this woman of uh, vision e summit and awards 2022 to mark the international women's day this year last but not the least as mr manish jain also said a big thank you to the team realty plus and lubrizol for putting this show together and to our lovely host kavya as well for making this event so exciting and captivating so thank you everyone for being part of this entire you know exciting uh, event that we had today kavya back to you now thank you very much sapna i must admit that it's truly my delight to actually be a part of an evening such as this uh, just completely brimming with inspiration and uh, i'd like to thank everyone once again for taking the time to be connected with us today because your participation and presence truly truly made this evening memorable i do hope everyone has participated in the hashtag #lubrizol woe 2022 challenge because the three lucky winners will be announced on lubrizol cpvc linkedin page So fingers crossed and with that on that beautiful note i'm going to wish you all great health and well-being and we look forward to seeing you all really soon and hopefully have the delightful opportunity of connecting in person as well so thank you very much and have a beautiful beautiful evening ahead thank you